Welcome to the Session Techies. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In session today, we are going to talk about Ansible for Operating System Patch Management on Linux. Generally, on uh, Enterprise Setup, you got uh, Satellite, Spacefork, or uh, any other patch or configuration management tool. Let's assume uh, in your setup you don't have uh, such tool. And there is a bug for which uh, you have to apply kernel patch on thousand servers. So what you will do in that case, you will apply patch one by one on every server. What it means, uh, you have to check whether application is running on that server or not. Uh, then you have, will apply the patch, then you will reboot the server. So that is going to take ages for thousand servers. So how if you can do that activity using Ansible? So that's easy. For demo purpose, I have written a playbook which you can use to perform patching on, uh, let's say, 10 servers, 100 servers, or 1,000 servers, so on. There is no such limit. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can achieve uh, that particular thing. I have opened Putty session. Uh, so here, this is my master Ansible server, which is controlling the Ansible clients. Ansible clients are nothing but they are Linux servers. If you see, test server one is the first Ansible client. Test server 2 is the second and let me show you something uh, on my master server which is Ansible server. So let me show you current directory first. I am an etc Ansible which is Ansible root and let me show you hosts file. And here I got one group. Group name is dev dash red hat and it got two servers. Test server 1, test server 2. So uh, this is the basically Ansible configuration here. And now let me show you playbook. So this is my Ansible playbook. So here, what is the playbook? This is a startup playbook. And this is just comment section. If you see this comment section, what I have written, this is a demo of Ansible playbook to perform patching on rel slash CentOS server. This is for demo purpose only. Use it at your own responsibility in your setup because you are running your setup. You know like what is the exact configuration. Uh, so don't uh, follow anyone blindly you have to think like what you're going to do because your servers are critical and you are responsible. Okay, so you can uh, use this playbook at any time. You can update it as per your requirements. Okay, so next thing here are the group. So this playbook will run on uh, these hosts, which is dev slash red hat, and this is a group. I have just explained you here. So this is the group name dev red hat, and this is here. And what it means when I run this playbook, it will automatically run on those, these two servers. If I want to specify, run it only on any particular, particular server, I can uh, limit it using minus L. Okay, then serial means it will run in serial, then I have mentioned tasks. So this is comment. So what is this task is doing? Let me explain it. So task name is verify application database processes are not running. So here I'm using shell module of Ansible and I'm running this command if, which is if else statement, ps minus ef, if any process name Apache or HTTP is running, then echo process, is, uh, process underscore running. If process is not running, which is else statement, then echo process underscore not underscore running, then exit uh, or quit that uh, if else statement. Okay, ignore error true, which means if any error occur, ignore it, don't exit. Register mean you are registering the output of a module. So in this case, this is the variable which will hold output from this shell command. So what are the possible output values? Either process underscore running or process underscore not underscore running. So these are the possible values which can be registered in this particular variable okay so now purpose of this task is only to check whether your application is running or not so we got confirmation now whether application running or not next thing we have to decide if process are running then don't do patching and quit so how like this particular task is doing that thing so decision point to start patching it will fail if Okay, this is the message basically, message inventory hostname, that's a host on which that playbook is or play is getting running. Have application running, 
so please stop application first then attempt patching when it will happen when app underscore process underscore check which is the variable this particular variable dot std out means standard output it got a process running value so i'm repeating when this particular variable standard output got value process running then quit and it will display this message before quitting that uh, your application is running please stop application first then attempt patching okay now we are sure okay processes are not running then next step to perform patching so here if you see this task is updating package so i'm using yum because my clients are on red hat or centos 7 name is equal to package name if you want to update all package you can replace kernel with star star mean all the packages on system will get update to latest state is equal to latest mean it will get latest update when to do em install or yum update when application underscore process underscore check underscore std out is process not running so i'm again assuring that uh, with this particular task if application is not running then only do em update i have added another condition and ansible distribution is centos or ansible distribution is red hat enterprise linux so what is ansible distribution i will uh, uh, explain it uh, in couple of minutes so that's particular os type whether that's centos red hat debian ubuntu so they they got uh, different ansible distributions i will explain you in a bit then what i'm doing i'm registering the output of yum update so i'm getting uh, output from this particular yum update next task is to check whether any kernel update happened or not let's say because here i'm sure uh, it will update kernel if i put star or if i put kernel you want to ensure whether any kernel update happened or not so i got another task so this task is uh, if kernel update happened then system need reboot or else not so here i'm again using shell i'm registering rpm minus q kernel and uh, using head minus one using awk and set kernel so what it mean uh, it will check what is the new kernel which got installed on system and what is the present kernel kernel underscore now i'm just running uname minus r after that i am using if else statement saying uh, if new kernel and kernel which is on my system at present they are not equal then eco reboot needed what it mean if kernels are different then reboot required if kernels are same then eco reboot not needed and again i am registering it in reboot underscore required so it will it can hold two possible values reboot underscore uh, needed or reboot underscore not needed okay so next task is to restart system let's say output is reboot underscore required which is this variable dot std out standard out got output reboot needed then only run this command shutdown minus r plus one mean uh, i'm just uh, delaying it by one minute because this command will wait for one minute to start the reboot uh, procedure and it will echo message reboot system after patching and uh, i'm registering reboot started uh, once reboot started so it will register okay reboot has started then next step i'm just pausing the ansible playbook execution for three minutes why i'm pausing because uh, if i don't pause what will happen uh, this play will quit because sss session gets terminated due to reboot activity so i'm just pausing it for three minutes so my system can reboot uh, within that time if you know syst your system takes uh, let's say five minutes because nowadays systems take only one minute 20 seconds to reboot but again uh, that depends upon setup to setup so you can uh, always vary this particular timing so for my scenario i have just uh, took 180 seconds or three minutes uh, for uh, pause okay so once pause is finished then next step i got one another task which is checking whether ssh is responding on uh, linux client or not so for that i'm just using uh, wait for module wait for mean uh, it will wait for sss to come up state is started and uh, what is it is doing it is uh, checking host port 22 which is sss port it is delaying 15 seconds and timeout is 300 seconds so when when 
you get uh, re reboot underscore started or changed this particular variable this one so that's the playbook friends uh, I'm I'm sure like you will be confused because I discussed many things but you can uh, repeat or uh, listen it again and again and it will give you some comfort so watch my previous videos they will give you some idea how Ansible works if you got some confusions but still like uh, I want to tell you if you can learn this particular playbook that will be very helpful for you why because here I'm using when I'm using if I'm using loops I'm using conditional checks so many things in this playbook so if you learn this playbook I believe uh, you can modify it and use it for some other purposes also so that's the playbook and let me quit okay now let's begin technical demo session because right now I have just explained you about playbook so first thing friends uh, let's verify whether my both servers are up or not I'm sure they are up because uh, I have just shown you console a couple of minutes back first thing I mentioned how you can check what is the Ansible distribution right uh, that's uh, some pending bit in my explanation thing so to check Ansible bit you can run Ansible minus module M setup module and uh, run it on all servers I'm just grabbing forward uh, Ansible underscore distribution let me press enter here so now this command will uh, collect uh, stat from all Ansible clients no why it gave error Ansible underscore distri okay okay my it's my mistake it's distribution okay now looks good let's see okay if you see Ansible distribution is CentOS and uh, this is second server both servers are on CentOS and major version is 7 because that's Red Hat 7 and this is the distribution version and this this is a distribution release name on both server so that's the reason I'm using CentOS because distribution is CentOS in case of Red Hat it will be Red Hat Enterprise Linux in case of Debian it will be Debian and Ubuntu Ubuntu so you can always check uh, your distribution type okay so that was the first thing now let's check your servers are up or not we already done check because that's the reason we got output servers are up but again if you want to check it in another way so you can run Ansible minus module you can use ping module all mean ping all servers so it will uh, connect if you see test server 1 success ping is responding test server 2 ping is responding so it means servers are up so let's check uh, what is the current kernel version of the servers so here Ansible the group name which is Red Hat uh, sorry dev dash Red Hat minus module shell minus a mean you are specifying command which command need to be run on target server so it is checking uh, uname minus a and uptime if you see test server 1 it got kernel 514 and this is up from last uh, 1 hour 40 minutes test server 2 it got kernel 327 it is also running from last 1 hour 15 minutes so friends uh, what it means this server is on lowest kernel this server is on uh, 514 so let's uh, do next thing let's check whether any application process is running or not so I want to demonstrate my playbook status or just run ps ps minus eaf5 graph 4 http okay if you see on server 1 test server 1 there is no application process running it uh, it is just only showing grep output but uh, no app application process running but on test server 2 there are Apache processors running HTTPD so it means application is running on uh, test server 2 and if you see here test server 2 go to lower patch level if I compare with test server 1 so now let's run our playbook so let's say we have to do patching now we have to update kernel on both servers I believe this is the latest kernel as of now 514 but let's uh, run our playbook again so I will not stop application on uh, test server 2 but I'm going to run playbook so here Ansible playbook then your playbook name which is linux patching.yml pressing enter here so let's start our play 
if you see first task is done which is uh, testing whether both servers are reachable or not yeah they are reachable and here it skipped test server one okay why it skipped if you see this message test server two have sorry it skipped test server one and uh, for test server two it gave message saying it changed false failed true message is test server two have running application please stop the application first then attempt the patching so that's a task which i have uh, in my playbook to see whether patching can be performed or not so basically it is not doing patching it quitted test server 2 if you see in next output it is only talking about test server 1 test server 1 it is not talking about test server 2 now why because uh, this server is uh, skipped because application is running patching can't be performed and here if you see next thing about uh, test server 1 it is skipping it is not doing patching actually on uh, the server and here if you see uh, upgrade all packages on server if you see that's green and saying okay not change okay mean ansible have not performed any change on test server 1 that's green and okay it means my server is already on latest kernel so no update needed after that check if reboot required after kernel update it is showing changed why it is showing changed because uh, uh, that's uh, some if statement which I run on my system that will be always showing changed because uh, if statement is a command or uh, that uh, shell module I'm using so whenever that command run it will show okay something is changed then restart system skipping it is not restarting test server one why because it's already on latest kernel so you can see that's a playbook and after that I have just added a pause thing for 180 seconds if you want to quit it we can quit it uh, by pressing ctrl c then capital a so it's quit and if you see my both servers are running they are not rebooted if you want i can log in on these servers so it will give you more idea okay this is test server 2 root root 1 2 3 and let's check up time so they are not rebooted basically if you see the server is up let's check second server also this is also not rebooted okay let's do one thing let's stop application on uh, test server 2 to stop application on test server 2 we have to run ansible my uh, like group name which is dev red hat minus l is limiting the servers so only on test server 2 run this command using shell module it is stopping apache application okay so if you see return code is zero it means uh, process is stopped so to be sure you can run uh, same command uh, which we run earlier uh, ps minus ef http on uh, both groups if you see now both servers there is no apache service running so now if i run my playbook again uh, this one so now what it will do because on test server one we are sure okay it not need any patch update or reboot it will quit or skip the server but on test server two let's see what this playbook is doing now and uh, because this server is on kernel revision 327 and latest is 514 so the sensible playbook will do patching now you see uh, it is saying changed test server 2 but decision point uh, skipping so skipping why it is skipping because uh, the server is changed okay if you see test server 1 is okay nothing changed let's wait for test server 2 now why it shown skipping for both servers because uh, on both servers there is no application running now okay so now it if you see it is taking time on test server 2 test server 1 is okay which means nothing changed test server 2 it is doing some stuff that's why it is taking time so let's wait if you see on screen uh, it changed test server 2 it, it means it updated the kernel on test server 2 then next thing whether reboot required or not on both server it is showing changed but it is rebooting only server test server 2 which got uh, kernel update so let's check whether and uh, after that it is pausing for 180 seconds what uh, reboot uh, interval we have mentioned and if you see this is a test server 2 which is getting rebooted 
okay now if you see 514 is the new kernel and uh, here test server 1 that's still up so nothing changed so if kernel updated then reboot server so you can uh, make your decisions in your ansible playbook so the server is getting updated now so let it finish so let console come then i will jump to other screen okay it's looking good without any error it is taking time but that's a normal red hat 7 thing if you see test server 2 is up now let me jump to ansible master our control server so it is still waiting because uh, 180 seconds so it will wait for 180 seconds let it finish then we will discuss next thing due to this post thing this playbook is not terminated or uh, stopped if i'm not using post thing this play will stop because ssh session uh, to that uh, ansible client that is terminated uh, due to reboot that's the reason i have used pose in uh, this particular thing so now it will check uh, after a couple of seconds whether ssh came up on uh, ansible client or not if not it will fail if ssh is up it will display okay ssh is up on uh, server and play will finish so let's wait for a couple of seconds now it just skipped test server one because nothing has been done on test server one and test server two if you see it is saying it's okay now test server two ssh is responding and nothing failed on both servers and on test server one if you see uh change two which are which were our if statement to checking but on test server two there are uh, four things changed which mean patching is done so friends uh, that's a way we can do patching but uh, let's verify again here uname minus a and uptime of both clients if you see now uh, test server one it is still showing one hour 52 minute uptime and its kernel was already 514 so nothing changed in this one and server not rebooted and on test server two its uptime is only two minutes and its kernel is on 514 earlier it was 327 so that's the way friends you can use ansible if you got 100 servers 1000 servers just update your host file this particular file and uh, you can create groups let's say this is dev red hat you can create uh, apache red hat production red hat database red hat or whatever name you are comfortable group name and under that uh, add your client you can make groups and depending upon groups you can do patching in single shot and if you see like i have done nothing on client side so everything is managed from ansible so that's some good thing i thought to share with you if you have any question or any query you can leave comment on my youtube channel i will be sharing this uh, particular playbook on my youtube channel thanks a lot for watching this video stay tuned for latest updates thank you bye bye